All right, so this next one is something. Uh, it, uh, honestly, it looks like a documentary. And normally, I wouldn't care so much for documentaries to feature them on the channel, but it got 4.7 million views. So I'm, I'm like, what, what the heck is this? So let's check. Have you heard of this? No, I haven't. Okay, well, let's check it out. We were watching the trailer for her. The Action Pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. American Nightmare, official trailer, Netflix. It's coming at us from Netflix where you're going to like the video. After home invasion and kidnapping, a young couple's recounting of the events is too far-fetched for the police to believe. You'll never suspect the truth. Watch American Nightmare on January 17th, only on Netflix. After a herring home invasion and kidnapping in 2015, a couple is accused of staging uh, the ordeal when the woman reappears in this true crime docu-series. Okay, so let's check it out. Um, so obviously documentary, kind of a crime mystery. I don't know if... I don't know this story, so I don't know if they've actually caught the person or whatever. And now I'm not going to look it up or find out, because I, I, I probably um, would like to probably would like to um, see something like this. It seems like something my wife would be interested in as well. We like true crime stuff. Do you like true crime stuff, Tommy Boy? Yeah, it's, it's usually pretty good. Yeah. All right, well, let's check it out then. We've got a 2 minute 15 second trailer. Are you ready? Always ready. My name is Stephen Russell. My co-writer, Joseph Miles Pittman, and I would like you to imagine a graphic narrative that disrupts the superhero genre's conventional boundaries. Tales of Nihilism unfolds a thought-provoking anthology with diverse story formats from succinct comic strips to multi-saga issues. But at its core, the Ballad of Philip Kirshner explores existential challenges of an ordinary man in a world inundated with superheroes. The anthology challenges prevailing hero worship narratives, diving deep into societal introspection. We invite readers to confront uncomfortable truths about our culture's obsession with saviors and question the prevailing societal structures. The series is not just a comic, but an invitation to contemplate, challenging readers to reassess their perspectives on heroism and societal norms. It's an opportunity to offer audiences a fresh, introspective take on the superhero universe, sparking conversations, reflections on the human condition. You can find the series digitally on Global Comics, or follow the links below to get your own physical issue. Here we go. Emergency. My girlfriend, me, got kidnapped last night. And you didn't call last night when this occurred? I was tied up. He said what? What happened? He said I, I was tied up. I was tied up. Oh, okay. So he was tied up, like physically tied up. Not like, yeah, oh, yeah. I was busy doing some stuff, so I didn't report my girlfriend <laughs> missing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, here we go. I was tied up. Okay. Tell me what happened. I wake up. Bright light blinding us. Taser goes off. Okay. And I see they're wearing wetsuits. What 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 so what happens next? Then I still need to tie my hands behind my back. Did she let this okay. go or something? Some text messages. She mad? Oh, she's you cheating? There's blood in your house. Do you know where she is? I didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. Oh my God, it's her. I just got a message. Okay. She's walking over to my house. 
I've never heard oh, of Oh, that's what it is, is that she was kidnapped. Okay, so just, so just from what I'm understanding here, is that she was kidnapped, and then her boyfriend was tied up. He escaped from that, called the police, said, hey, my, wife, my girlfriend was kidnapped last night. I was tied up all night. And then she just comes home. So what happened? I don't know if she came home. Did she come home? Like, I don't know if it was... Well, that, was I mean, that's her tomorrow. going yeah, somewhere. I don't know. If she, yeah, she's going somewhere, but I don't know if it was home. Yeah. But yeah, this it seems know. interesting. Okay, all right. Well, let's move on. Move forward to this. I've never heard of a case where the kidnappers drop their victim at the front door of their house. Okay. okay. We thought she's an innocent victim. She looks more like a suspect. Police now wondering... Is Huskins a real life Gone Girl? Oh yeah, have you seen the movie Gone Girl? Never heard of it. What is it? Like, Gone Girl with Ben Affleck? It's where like halfway all the like forty five minutes to I think it's like an hour, even to an hour into the movie, it's like Ben Affleck murdered his girlfriend, she's or his wife, she's missing, she's missing. Then all of a sudden, I don't about halfway through the movie, it jumps over and shows you that actually. She faked the whole thing so that way she could get away from him and have him go to prison for her murder because she hated him. Uh, yes. And it actually, I saw it in theaters. It was uh, years and years ago. I saw it in theaters. It's like an unintentional comedy moment because I was like, I started laughing in the theater. I was like, my God, that woman, you know, like she, she you know. You get the idea. Um, yeah. And so people are saying that she did the same thing. Like she staged her own kidnapping and is now yeah. back. Yeah. Here we go. Something else has happened here. Maybe this is about revenge. We find zip ties, toy guns, and a blow-up doll. Can this okay. be any stranger? Who's really behind all of this? And they get an email confessing to the crime. Did we all get this wrong? See... Are they, they're going to interview her, too, aren't they? Yeah, they have to, yeah. Well, they don't necessarily have... They don't have yeah. to interview... I'm not talking about the police. I'm talking about the people that made this film. They don't have to... Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have to do that. What the heck is this? Okay, check it out. Oh, it's something political. Well, okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> so this is extremely interesting, mostly because it's real life. Uh, nothing is, yeah. is as interesting or weird as real life. What are your thoughts? It, yeah, same words. Like, it it's very, seems very, very interesting. And the fact that it is real life, like, intriguing. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I'll see you guys the 17th. It looks like it'll be good. I have Netflix, you know. Uh, interesting story. I, like I said, I like true crime. <laughs> Uh, I watch the I watch true crime YouTube channels where they go over crimes like this with video and stuff and talk about different testimony or whatever. So they're, that's I, I enjoy it. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a lot like Gone Girl though. So in Gone Girl, she was trying to hook up with somebody else who was rich, so that way she could have a better life for herself or whatever. And then she comes back because she decides that. Her husband, she wants her husband to be a certain way, and she saw him in an interview on TV, and she's like, I want him to be like that. So if he'll be like that, I'll stay with him, and then he won't frame him for my murder. So she goes home, and anyway, yeah, so there's like a bunch of different stuff. And wow. then and then this this seems some, something, something. I don't know. I, now I want to watch it. I'm, I'm not going to look up the names because I, I want to I see it on the 17th and have the picture unfold instead of already knowing the story, so... Um, but otherwise, let's uh, let's check out the comment section, see what other people have to say. Try to avoid spoilers here. Uh, Adrenaline is my soul. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. I remember the story. The police were horrible to this couple. Were they? I can um, imagine. Seems like a weird situation, and the police probably had yeah. no idea what to do. What would you do, you know? Um, yeah. What is the adrenaline in my soul? And then you go down here. Here's another one. Yeah, the same it's down there again. <laughs> I was like, "What? What the heck is this?" Um, yeah. Okay, okay. So there, there was a th one that was telling the story. I'm not going to say it. Uh, what? What is the? What is this? Is this something to do with the show? Like, what? 
Oh no. Oh, it's a song. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Um, you see, unbelievable than this. It's very saddening. It's. I seem. It seems justice is blinded by the people who should have been the eyes and ears for the victims. Yeah. Okay. What the heck? What is this thing? What is happening with these song lyrics? I thought it was. I thought it was a Cody Rhodes based on a true story movie. What? <laughs> Oh, it's is it because of the title American Nightmare? Maybe that was maybe that's the um, American like the American Nightmare is the name of a song by that guy or something. I don't know. Maybe. Um, let me see. American Nightmare song. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I was like, what is going on with the comments? Um. Yeah, so check it out on the 17th, guys, on Netflix. If you have Netflix, you know, you can just watch it. It's free for you. If you don't have Netflix, go get it so you can watch it. Um, hey, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, if you know something about the story, also leave me a comment. Try not to spoil it, though. Try not to spoil it for me so that way I can watch this and um, get a good, have a good time watching it with my wife on Netflix. But otherwise, let's move on to the, to the next one here, and we will wrap things up with this last trailer. Here we go. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.